How you doing? Doing good? Keep doing that. Mind where you are. Mentally, emotionally, physically, vibrationally. I don't know the vibrational rate of anything, but I know how I feel. Thoughts come in, and I watch them come in. If worthy, they can stay and bring more of their friends. But if unworthy, if that thought if that idea, if that concept, if that image isn't worthy, they shall be rejected and I will make that my stand. Standing for myself. That unworthy things shall not be entertained nor embraced. So what is unworthy? That's a good question. Things of a low nature. Things of a low vibration. Everything vibrates. Everything has a vibrational rate. Some are high, some are low. But generally, things of a low nature, you want to stay away from. Even if those things are regarded as, or held as special or important, or even loved. Our experiences as individual, as our thoughts and actions, meaning that nothing comes from the outside, not the problems, not the solutions. Everything is an internal job, a mental job. Everything is mental. So. If everything is mental, the outside, or what seems to be the outside, what's around us, is a reflection of the inside of my mind, since everything is mental, and I'm sitting in a sea of mentality in consciousness and vibration the experience experienced varies in quality per individual due directly to the concept of self how we see ourselves what we know and expect Everything we experience is us, individually. This is why there are those who have more and those who have less. And that seems to be tied directly to the concept of self. So if everything is mental, and everything is a reflection, What is a reflection of? Everything is a reflection of my mental, emotional, vibrational, physical habits. Life reflects who I am. How I see myself, how you see yourself, because it works like that for everybody. And the job 
is to grow from where you where you are where I am from this point if I decide to change I can start doing it at any moment you are meant to grow from where you are I mean when you are born you have lifetimes behind you you could say that you were more schooled than some of the other souls around you but you still from wherever you are you're starting to grow when you decide to grow when you decide to go in that direction you grow from where you are simple you don't have to start over you don't have to do over just start changing from where you are because the movements involved are those of transformation those movements that are involved in changing that is our proclivity to always be changing because we're growing from where we are to get to the father see eventually we change so much we keep changing and changing into higher realms until we reach the father we're all going home just some sooner than later so we're meant to be changing all the time and hopefully into something better for if it's bad it's an alarm system also for it shows you what you're letting yourself be around take accept and expect but most importantly think and feel and if what you're thinking leads to feeling badly which is a pretty low vibrational rate a bad vibrational rate will be enforced which will lead into bringing your consciousness into things of a low nature or low vibrations so bad will just snowball and as you be in the mind projecting everything thinking and feeling everything that is the experience that is what you get back from the signal you put out prior to receiving the experience see our now is built on past actions so therefore our future will be our present actions But if it's bad, we sink into those low vibrational levels. It is as if you decide to drop from the penthouse to the basement instead of a, a nice open high altitude view, vibrationally speaking now is dark and limited so do you feel dark and limited if yes then we need to climb oh and yeah that also means dropping what weighs you down for it wears you down and it brings you down down is down no matter how you dress it you are not meant to stay where you are to stay who you are or who you think you are you are meant to change from where you are at any time choose a direction up or down and don't worry about what the outside says there are only your insecurities be invisible being audible it's trying to make you change but 
Isn't that the job? You are the experience. And if you don't like the experience, you can always change it. You can change it by changing yourself. Yep. It always boils down to you. You are the light that gives life to this whole show. How you're doing vibrationally, what you're thinking and feeling, matters. They are the indicators of the experience you're creating. But most importantly, living for you creating the mental. And since everything is mental, that's where you are. In awareness, your consciousness is fully involved in the object, situation, idea, moment, concept, whatever you become it. You live it. So you're living it and feeling it while you're creating it, then expecting it or talking about it, telling everybody this story. The same thing is occurring. You're living it, you're thinking it, you're feeling it. But most importantly, you're living it. You're feeling it. Because you're thinking it. And finally, you live again. You live the situation again, even though you realistically you've been living it this whole time. So it materialized. I hope you get the hidden message behind that sequence of events that it could also be directed in the opposite way. You, using these concepts to alchemize yourself in the right direction. Again, changing yourself in the or towards the right direction. So let me go over that sequence of events again. You're thinking it, feeling it, living it when you're creating it. You're thinking it, feeling it, living it when you're expecting it or obsessing about it or talking about it, sharing the story. You're thinking it, feeling it, and living it when you're experiencing it. For all that thinking it, feeling it, and living it, and then up attracting it, and materializing it. Remember, you brought all of that from the mental. So if it is a bad thing, a thing of a low nature, you have yourself a bad experience. And this bad experience will convince you that life is such, that life is exactly like that. Because that's the problem with the basement. It lacks. It lacks. It lacks. And it lacks. It lacks view, it lacks air, light, space, ventilation, but most of all, light. Because in that darkness, there's no knowledge, only experience. Experience, an experience that is accepted for the lack of knowledge. Doing as you know, as you learned, and not as you should, if you want to climb. Climbing brings momentum, for it is finally letting yourself flow with the rhythm of life. In essence, you are allowing yourself to be your natural self by 
by trusting, by having faith that you are the epicenter of your reality. You are the beginning and the end of your experience. That you are to change from where you are. Always growing, always moving, always climbing. We're all going home. And the higher you vibrate, the closer you are to home. The closer you get to our Father. I really don't see an alternative. Do you? <laughs>